Greg Hunt has repeatedly questioned whether an ABC presenter believes in freedom of speech in an interview defending Victorian Liberal members' plans to debate gay conversion therapy. The health minister told Radio National presenter Patricia Carvelas he does not support gay conversion therapy but refused to say if he was concerned by a motion that was to be debated at the upcoming Liberal State Council. On Monday Fairfax Media reported that the Victorian Liberal president, Michael Kroger, had intervened to stop a proposed motion to allow doctors to offer counseling out of same-sex attraction or gender transitioning. After questions about the Greens' plans to legalize cannabis and private health insurance rebates, Carvelas asked Hunt whether he was alarmed by the proposed motion. Sign up to receive the top stories every morning, look, it's not something I support, it's not federal government policy, it's not going to be federal government policy and we're not about to change our position on that. Hunt replied. The health minister added, people are entitled to have different views, views that I disagree with. What I do worry about is this constant view that nobody is anywhere allowed to have a different view. As a journalist, I would hope you would believe in freedom of speech. In a testy exchange, possibly designed to throw red meat to the growing conservative faction of the Victorian Liberal Party, Hunt then asked Carvelas if she believed in freedom of speech. When she affirmed she did, Hunt repeatedly asked her to define the concept. Hunt clarified that he was not suggesting freedom of speech included the right to attempt to convert young people away from homosexuality. Patricia Carvelas was berated by Federal Health Minister Greg Hunt in a fiery interview. Photograph, ABC, no, they're two completely different things. Do I think that there should be a practice of doing that? No. Do I think people have the right to have views I disagree with? They are entitled to have views you and I disagree with, Hunt asked Carvelas if she was afraid to stand up for freedom of speech by failing to provide a definition of the concept. Carvelas thanked Hunt for appearing on the program, Hunt chastised her, saying it was disappointing that she had not answered his question. You asked questions that you want to present as a game but this is a real discussion about freedom of speech and this was your chance, and I hope you run this in full, he said. The interview continued, with Hunt grumbling she had not answered the question. Carvelas then asked why Kroger had pulled the motion, prompting Hunt to claim he was not aware there was one. I have no idea about the background to it, he replied, after answering several minutes of questions about the motion. Carvelas reaffirmed that she believes in freedom of speech, adding she also believed gay conversion therapy has had devastating results for people, noting that Hunt and science also took that view. Apparently believing he was no longer on air, Hunt said he believed in freedom of speech but Carvelas wouldn't say that when we were on air. We're on air right now, I do plan to run this. Carvelas said, adding it was extraordinary, Hunt had tried to turn around the interview and hijack it. I am surprised it took an extraordinary amount of time for you to acknowledge you actually believe in freedom of speech, Hunt said before Carvelas finally concluded the interview.